In my previous video, I used a solar panel to power my e-bike without using a battery pack. It did not go well. I was able to get to only about 8 miles per hour before the power cuts out. I added another solar panel in the back and I resolved the power problem but I still was able to get to only about 10 miles per hour and it's hard to control because it starts to freeze tail. So I was just wondering, what if I just use my e-bike like usual with a battery? But I hook up the solar panel to the battery and bike at the same time. Would that increase my range and buy how much before the battery is completely depleted? And coincidentally, this solar panel puts out 63 volts open circuit. This battery also puts out 63 volts when it's fully charged. So the question here is, can I just use the solar panel to charge this battery while I'm biking, of course, without a charge controller? And that's what I'm going to try to find out today. Before I start the video, i got to say, this video is for entertainment only. Please do not try this. If you hook up the solar panel to your battery without a charge controller, it will overcharge your battery and it's going to explode. So right now, it's end of October. Air temperature here is about 70 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about 21 degrees Celsius. But if you live in colder climate where temperature is below zero, the solar panel works more efficient when it's cold. It could put out more or much more than 63 volts. And that's going to be for sure overcharging the battery. So please don't try this at home. This is for my experiments only. I've got everything connected, the solar panel, the trailer, the battery. Let me show you how I connect everything together. Here's the wire that comes from the solar panel and it's connected to the battery in parallel. And before it gets to the parallel connection with the battery in here, I added a diode so that the electron flow only goes one way. I want to prevent back feed from the battery back to the solar panel when I'm in the shade. This actually cost me 0.3 amps or about 20 watts in this case and that's because there's a current drop going through the diodes, any diode. But this is safer this way for my solar panel and it protects my solar panel from being damaged. Alright, let's double check and see what we got. About half an amp going to my battery right now and that's because my battery is almost full. With this battery alone, I get about 11 miles of range. Let's see how many more miles I get when I hook this up to my solar panel. Alright, I'm ready to go. I have reset my odometer to zero. And I'm going to run until my battery goes down to 3.3 volts per cell. Or in this case for a 15S battery pack, it would be 50 volts. So when it goes down to 50 volts, I will stop. I've gone for about 2 miles on this bike trail. And let's check this out. I've got 2.3 amps going to the battery right now from the solar panel. So that is pretty good. And that is about, I would say, hundred and close to 150 watts. This trailer, it fishtail quite a bit at around 12 miles per hour. But I have added a weight. That's 15 pounds of weight right on the front of the trailer. And now it doesn't fishtail anymore, at least at low speed. I went up to 20, almost 25 miles per hour before it starts to fishtail. So that is pretty good. Now let's give it a try. Alright, here we go. 10 miles per hour is still pretty stable. Put that out. We're at 15 miles per hour. Very stable. Alright, let's increase the speed. We're at 
20 miles per hour. Check this out. No more fish, no more fish tail. Very stable. Let's go faster. 23, 24, okay, 25, almost 25. Check that out. controllable very controllable so that is pretty good all right I've gone for about nine miles let's see what we got here it's charging my battery at two and a half amps that's about 150 watts usually at nine miles my battery is almost dead because the range is only 11 miles but check out the battery voltage right now 60.4 volts that's almost full that is very good I didn't expect that so right now I'm at 13 mile mark and usually by now my battery would have been dead but check this out it's still at 60.9 volts almost 61 volts that's like 95 percent full the solar panel is still charging my battery at 2.1 amps that's about 120 130 watts of power going to my battery that's amazing i didn't expect this at all all right we keep on going I'm stopping at in and out for lunch while I let my battery charge. Check this out. Battery it's still at 59.6 volts that's like over 90 percent full and the solar panel is still charging my battery at almost 2 amps that's about 120 watts and right now I'm at 17 and a half miles so usually by now my battery is way long dead man two amps charging 59.6 volts that's amazing yummy after 17 miles I need this I've just finished my lunch and it's been charging in the Sun for about half an hour check this out battery now 60.8 volts and it's charging right now at 1.2 amps so the charging rate is slowing down because the Sun is going down and see how long the shadow is but I still have plenty of power 90% battery state of charge so I can still go a long way let's keep on going all right the Sun is going down and see how long the shadow is right now I've reached the end of my trip and I have traveled over 26 miles which is more than twice the range of my battery pack which only gets about 11 miles now let's see what we got on the battery it's battery voltage 57.3 volts that's about 3.8 volts per cell we 
still charging at half an amp 0.4 amps right now that's because the sun is going down so the shadow is quite long on the way over there I can just keep going on and on and on forever well not forever but until the sun is down so there you have it solar powered e-bike without a charge controller with unlimited range the future of transportation is here if you want to try this please don't do it this way it is extremely dangerous to charge a battery with a solar panel without a charge controller because it will overcharge your battery and it will explode your battery instead get yourself a charge controller it's not expensive at all put a charge controller in here and you can have unlimited range for your e-bike wow while I'm talking you can see my battery has gone up to 57.4 volts and that's all I have for now folks thanks for watching and we'll see you next time